Hey people, Aces Army here, back with the next part of my Elden Ring playthrough. So in the last episode, we bashed our way through the capital, got a bit lost, and then found our way to Godfrey. So I was thinking, okay, hopefully we'll wrap the capital up now in this episode. But then I was looking at some of my items, and the Cursed Seed kept confusing me. I was like, what are these? I've picked up three now altogether. Um, and when I read it, it was on about a dung eater and also about a pox afflicted person. So I came back to Round Table Holds and I spoke to this guy, and now he gave me another item, um, which again confused me. So uh, it's one of these, yeah, Suagul Key in uh, Lindell, Royal Capital. So that means there's a whole sewer area as well. Now, I've no idea how long this is, whether it's just an item that we can grab. Um, so I spent quite a while again searching around the capital, and then I found a well. So I'll just warp us. Okay, so now we're at the Avenue Balcony, Grace Point, and this is literally just off the main strip through the capital. Um, and when I was researching down here, I found an item that I had missed. Um, and it was, I think it was just around the corner here. And yeah, it wasn't anything particular. I think it was a smithing stone. But what I also saw then was a ladder. I don't know whether it's just because I had my torch on, but I, I just didn't see this at all before. Um, so yeah, we've got another sewer section here. This is that one item that we couldn't see before. But then there's also this door. So yeah. I don't know if this is going to be a big area or just like a little small add-on, but we shall take a look. Hopefully we can do this section and then uh, go back up to the top where we fought Godfrey, um, and then we should be able to finish up the capital. Not too sure what's going to happen though, because we have the whole thing of Melina disappearing. God knows what she's uh, up to. Okay, we've got rats down here. Let's... Um another door let's go this way first no <laughs> yeah I was looking through all my weapons and things as well and seeing what I could level up unfortunately nothing really um, which is quite surprising because like the volume of smithing stones and somber smithing stones that I got they just didn't seem to be any past maybe level 6 or 7. Another door, but this one, again, we haven't had any pop-up about the sewer key, so... Maybe we could have always gone here. Oh, damn it, I could have plunged you. Okay, demigod. Demigod. A demi human enemy. He's a beefy boy. There's a lot of beefy boys down here. Okay, can't be open from this side, so there's a way around to that. And there's a grace point too, okay. See, the grace point makes me feel like even more <laughs> that this is its own area. Okay, I'm gonna stick this on as well. I'm gonna aggro just one of these if we can. That guy's having none of it. Tag team it is then. Oh. I mean, you two are gonna gank up on me. I'm just gonna try and use my spells to even the odds. Ow. Ow, death. No, not death. I thought that was going to increase, um, cause the death status on me then. Yeah, fighting these both at the same time is definitely not a fun idea. Okay, they need 
you down. Let's just uh, treat myself to a little magic flask. Ow! Jeez Louise. Blood soap set. Okay, we've got a way down here. More of the buggers down there as well. Let's just check the ladder first. Okay, a lot of <laughs> blood stains. It's making me scared. Oh, that's why. Should have known these things are always lurking. I can hear more of them like clambering about as well. Oh, I hate fighting on these pipes. Ah, come onto a platform. Okay, and now there's two of them to deal with instead of one. No, three! Ugh. Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. Another thing I noticed as well, like. Even if the enemies like fall off a ledge, if you're holding this sword, you always seem to get health back. There's another path up there as well. Yeah, this is a proper maze. It looks like you can go all the way down to the bottom as well, and there's oh, a lobster. I hate the lobsters. Falling off. Okay, so here's that item we can see Shadow Bait. Just, oh wow, I thought it exploded. It did. Holy. Right, let's open this gate first time. And then we won't have to do this whole run around again. Okay, he's doing the explosion again. Let's know. I know though that there's fireballs coming off it. Like the kick. Just hoping for a uh, poise break by now. These guys are like making me feel that I don't have enough health, and maybe 40 isn't enough. We still got that one hatch to go through, but obviously we've got the checkpoint to get back there. So let's roll off and check what's down here. I like how it says "Ah, death." Maybe that's just because of the lobster. Oh, no. I absolutely hate these things.
now the lasers. That move is just so... Hey, level 7 stone though. Magic these guys to death. If I can get it off. Nope. Lobsters are the worst. Oh, they're killing each other now. Yeah, I completely forgot that I now had a full slot after Godfrey. Um, but I still don't really know what to do with that slot, like talisman-wise. So I just put on the, um, how is he still going? Savage. Like endless lobster combos. Ugh. I just realized that I totally screwed myself and uh, lost my souls there as well. Basically, the weight of the cat ring made me heavy roll, and I didn't even think about it. So, no wonder I can dodge, but crap. Although, this guy is just insanely annoying. The laser on his hit. Okay, I'm gonna say screw this guy. Mog's shackle. Isn't Mog one of the demigods? Yay, seven stone. That's two now we've got. Yeah, my only hope with these guys is that they just kill each other, honestly. Yeah, at least I can actually dodge them a bit better now that I am not heavy rolled in. Give me the item. Another level 7 stone. I can't see a way out down that way. So what we'll do is we'll just leg it through here. Okay, we've got a grace checkpoint here. Nice. Okay, we've got an elevator down. Right, so this this like a dungeon, is it? Ow. These guys hurt so much. Almost feels like <laughs> I shouldn't be at this uh, point in the game because these enemies are just tanky as anything. Right, so a critical hit from a colossal great sword still doesn't take him down, and they are chunking my health with these grabs. Okay, these guys don't even die from the fire. They just set a light and keep going. Okay. Well, this is... This thing is 
dungeons. Just knock that down. Hopefully it's killed the other guy in the meantime. There is a way up, so you can obviously stand on that to get further up. Um, these guys are dead. Oh, why? Why game? I have found a new way though to uh, stagger them. So magic. <laughs> a charge attack and then followed up by any other hit. And they go down. Okay, this is the first bit. Nearly dropped off that ladder then. Could have been death. God, this, this area feels very large, but at the same time... Right, it's pretty empty. Alright, let's do this. Buffed up and ready to go. I'm thinking of, um, like if you use an ultra great sword, like ideally you're going to be doing a lot of jumping attacks. So I am kind of thinking of um, sticking on the talisman that improves your jump attack. Because that could have potentially just killed him with that talisman. Okay, this is quite interesting. So, if you're a dex build and you're causing blood loss, then it actually boosts your uh, attack power every time you do it. But let's try the elevator now. Just see where this takes us. Okay, so a lot of uh, spirit enemies. See, the enemies in this bit seem a lot weaker than the enemies that we were just facing, although they are now just reappearing every time I kill them. I realized um, I actually have that, um, that war art, and what it seems to do is it will buff a single attack. I don't know why I did there. Oh right, okay, we're back at the top. Okay, so we've got a bunch of rats. They nearly just ended me. My jumping attacks are definitely stronger, so that talisman seems like it's weird. Oh, whoa! Uh, I don't have... Well, this is the only 
fire move I have on. Dagger. No, he didn't get it. I never seem to get it on these plants. They always just knock you on your ass. Ow. Get out of here. Okay, is this that item, one item we can see? From, um, over the other side? No. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Let me out of this corner. Okay, this time let's not get grabbed by the enormous hand. Okay, and this is where we use the sewer key. Let me out. Let me out of here. I must eat more. And this is the guy. Everything that matters to you for generations to come. I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. Right. Who are you? I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Along with their children, and their children's children, for all time to come. I will kill again, just to be healthy. Okay, I got a feeling this is like one of those NPCs you get a lot in Souls games, where if you leave them live, uh, they will kill all the NPCs. <laughs> so, sorry to say, Dung Eater. Your cursed seeds. You're going nowhere. Okay. Okay, well, we got his armor and his sword, which is pretty cool. Right, well, one thing is still puzzling me, and that is this door. Um. So I'm just going to have one last scan over the pipes area, just in case there was a drop-off that I missed. But I mean, uh, see, so there's a path up there. That, that is where we need to get to. How is the question? Yeah, so I can see that there is a bridge there, and that looks like it's connected to that door. We just need to work out how to get up there. Yeah, I just took a moment to clear the enemies. It does look like there's a section over there as well that we may be able to get onto. Still not sure how yet, though. Well, I checked all of that pipe room. I even uh, resorted to killing the lobsters just to see if there was a ladder or anything there. But then I realized that there was this kind of drop-off. Uh, or not drop-off. There was this path to the side on the way to the, the dung guy. Um... So there's all these tunnels. Oh crap! And I have no idea where these will take us, but hopefully, be something decent. See, there's more items over that way, so I'm guessing you can 
fall through multiple ways. Oh, I am not fighting one of those guys. Not in this place. I do not want to be cursed to death down here. God, this is like another maze on top of the maze. And this will take us back up to the main path. So I think that's where I fell down. Or is it this way? Here. Another one of these beefy boys. I've had enough of you now, beefy boys. Ugh. Okay. Is this going to be the door back to the start? Those things can climb the ladders. What the heck? No! This is a new area again. It's like an endless pit. Okay. He can't get through this door. He can shoot magic through it. Yeah, I staggered him out with that. No, the other two are bad road. Okay, I definitely ain't fighting three of you. Let's get this gate. Hopefully this will be like a shortcut. It is. Oh no, and I've been grabbed. Okay, well at least we've unlocked the shortcut now. Yeah, I can't fight three of you. Not possible. I don't have huge AoE magic to kill you all in one. Seek down. Okay, let's just check this way first. I'm starting to rush now because looks like we're going to be spending the whole episode in this bloody underground otherwise. Yeah, it looks like this is the only way. Hey! If you don't want to run away, that's fine. More smithing stones. We have been getting quite a few level 6s and 7s now, finally. Liar ahead. I'm guessing that's not the way down then. Okay. Yeah, you guys are just annoying. You can stay well away. Okay, another some more tunnels down here. Let's just check this quickly before ah oh, really. The last thing I wanted is these guys. No, nope, don't kiss me to death. open from that side. I'm hoping this just loops in a circle. Because, I mean, we just got another new bit to explore. So I don't want to be stuck in more pipes for ages here. Oh, whoa. There's loads of stuff in this room. Little beefy boy. 
Oh, he dodged it. Thought he would. Alright, just give me his stuff. No more beefy boys for me, please. Really? Just a golden centipede? Ow! Like, I know that the capital is massive, but the size of this uh, sewer underneath it <laughs> speaks volumes <laughs> of the trash coming from the city below. Let's see. I, like, there's so many ways I can go now. The fact that these guys... Ah, oh, look, this is the, this bit. Way. Okay. Yeah, the deluge that must have been coming out of that city. <laughs> On the basis of uh, what we're seeing here. been uh, off the charts. Oh, I really hate fighting on these things. Look, you've got the platform over here, which I can see. We've got the one shortcut now. Okay, you can do one. Friendly? He was friendly. Okay, that was just a knockdown. Oh wait! <laughs> oh, he's still trying to chase us. Uh, back in the pipes now. I'm getting seriously lost at this point. Ooh, I'll take you though. Why didn't he... he didn't get hit then. He must have just got staggered by the, uh, the force of the slam, rather than actually being directly hit. That was close. Okay, yeah, I mean, if you've managed to keep track of where I am right now, you're a better man than me. Okay, this was just a dead end. I don't know if we're in a, a part that we've explored or not yet. Ah! Drop down there. God, this is going on forever. Two ways we can go here. Right, another hole to fall down. Okay, item down there. Um giant rat Stones. Is this that gate? There we go. Okay, so now I know where I am roughly. So I'm on the other side of that gate. A lot of messing around to get here though. Uh, it still looked like that area that we were in. Like with a massive hole to the center of the earth. Looked like you could still keep going. Now we've got an elevator too. 
Which will pop. Okay, you can live, pop boy. I've decided. I'll try circling around. Okay. Right, well, just in case. So I've put Mog Shackle on because. So basically, um, there's an item you can get at the start for Margit, and it means that it binds him and it keeps him still. So if this is Mog, then we're definitely going to use this. It is Mog. Okay, we'll use this to our advantage then. I don't know if this guy's gonna have two phases or what, because he is technically a demigod. Ugh, setting everything on fire though. Oh, we staggered him. I should have put my uh, jump charge, attack charge back, charm back on as well. Oh god, I thought I had time to get that off. going to give me time to get it off. Now. I will use my magic. Well, I like that he just fired a uh, sort of blood rain off then. Now. No, I didn't have time for that. Have time for it again. Stop being silly. Yeah, take a hit for that. Ooh, the lava was hitting me on the floor then. Now we Let's bleed and burn. hard to uh, deal with this guy I'm close and personal. There's like a slight delay on his attacks, almost like Margaret. Again it though. Okay, have I got time now? I have. Why oh, thank you. The delay on those attacks is just nasty. Yeah, he was bound to catch me out eventually. Alright, let's make sure we actually take advantage of it properly this time. Ow! I was uh, trying to find my 70 odd thousand souls. The problem with that attack is it does obscure your view. I knew he was going to reach me from there. I couldn't get out of the way. Way stagger. up. Ow. Maybe punish me with death then.
Oh, I swear I pressed roll that time. Get my magic back up just in case it's an option to finish him off at range. Or rather, it's the only option. for that. 100,000 souls too. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a quick check around in the sewers just to see if there's anything else worthwhile here. There were so many different off paths and offshoots. Uh, you probably need like a full bloody guide just for this area. Um, but if there's not and we've got time, I'll quickly uh, go back up to the capital and see if we can f finish it off this episode. Right, so I ran around, grabbed a few extra items, and then I, around this chest, I noticed there was a lot of messages. Um, and yeah, <laughs> looks like there's a door here. Um, so I'm not too sure what this is going to lead us to. Oh wow, that guy is. I thought he was upside down then. Well, it seems as this is the same seal on the one that looks like. You need to exit the capital. Um, then I'm guessing we have to come back here then after we've actually defeated the boss of the capital. So let's just go back up top uh, and see how much longer is left. Oh, I didn't even see that guy then. Okay, this is one of the, uh, the black knife thieves. These guys be very nasty. I probably didn't see him because he was invisible. I fought quite a few different variations of this guy. Um, to the catacombs. Um, I think there's one in an Everjail, which is like the leader. He is like a nightmare to fight. I've also fought one as well that was completely invisible for the entire fight. Alright, so we've got another Sight of Grace here. And uh, I'm guessing all the comments are about the fact that this looks like this, where the Sun Goddess from Dark Souls 1 should be. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah. Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Whoa. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. So he's not Margot Falloman. He's Margot, the Omen King. Oh God. Like, and that was all the um, demigods he was mentioning. 
Like, apart from Millennia, I think we've <laughs> pretty much taken out all of them. Okay, now he's got a spear. Okay, I wonder if this is going to be a two-phase, though. Ugh! Okay, yeah. Delay again. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't dodge that. Whoa! Oh god, I thought he was... Okay, we traded. Oh wow! Is the whole like arena burning me? Okay, I'm gonna have to double chug through that. Ow! Phase 2 or no? What do we think? Oh no! He did! Let's rest. Ah, uh, she's back. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Ur Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin far above the clouds upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants then i can set the earth tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming elden lord okay well now we can see on the map where we need to go um, we also know the way out of the capital, and now we have the mark that will let us through here. So I've just come back down to where we fought Margot, um, just to see if we can now get through this seal. Yeah. This again looks like it goes down pretty darn far. Put our uh, cat talisman back on, just in case. Right, looks like, I mean, there's a load of notes everywhere, so, I guess we go down. Oh god. This reminds me of the tower from Dark Souls 3. Okay, maybe I've gone the wrong side here. Ah, no, I'm dead. Uh, I'm just going to try and aim for where the messages are. Rolling ahead. Which way though? This way? Oh god, scary. Again. Jeez. Ah! Inescapable frenzy. Yay, stairs. Okay, that didn't last nearly long enough. Whoa! Right, well, 
we got a grease checkpoint. Um, and there is this beastly looking door. Still no comfort. Um, maybe this is something for later? I don't know. Well, I mean, we can walk back here now. Ooh. Secret door, boy. Runark, nice. And again. Really? The heck is this place? Okay, well this actually looks like it's the underground. Um, so what we'll do is, in the next episode now... Yeah, we're, we're definitely in the underground. This is just like a little a bonus area that we can get to here. Okay. Yeah, so what we'll do in the next episode, we will exit the capital uh, via this way. Um, and then we'll go to the brand new area. Um, so, sorry again, a bit of a long one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like the video, subscribe for more. And I shall see you in the next one.